Yo guys, Jack here and today I wanted to have a chat about my most anticipated games of 2015 and the near future. It's been a great year for gamers on all platforms with some fantastic releases, but when I look at what's coming up, I think it's just going to get better and better. And so I've decided to put a little list together of my most hotly anticipated games. First up, The Division. Now this game could really be something special, a custom built from the ground up engine called Snowdrop powering a next gen and PC only MMO set in post apocalyptic New York. From the gameplay we've seen so far it looks pretty solid, challenging players to fight against AI and other groups of human players too. There's base building elements, tons of character skills and trees with no set classes, it's shaping up to be something really special. This has the potential to become the ultimate massively multiplayer survival game. Fingers crossed. Next, Uncharted 4. I am a massive fan of the Uncharted trilogy, with Uncharted 2 being one of my all time favourite PlayStation 3 games. Naughty Dog did not disappoint. Interesting gameplay, puzzles, fantastic graphics, and cool characters. And I think after the success of The Last of Us, they're really going to be looking to revamp the Uncharted series and bring it to the next gen. Could this be the final exciting chapter in Drake's saga? Only time will tell. Star Wars Battlefront, rebooted for the next gen and this time made by DICE, the creators of the Battlefield franchise, and now confirmed as a first person shooter. Star Wars Battlefront will aim to bring epic scale multiplayer warfare to the video game space. Imagine fighting a battle on Endor, a jungle environment, hopping in a space shuttle, fighting in space, and then landing on Hoth, a snowy level for another battle with no loading times. AT-ATs, lightsabers, speeder bikes, dare I say Ewoks, the possibilities are very exciting. Batman Arkham Knight. Now what excited me about this game is that it's been developed by Rocksteady Studios, the team that made the original Arkham Asylum and of course Arkham City. And these are both games that I played through multiple times. Being a Batman fanboy, this is my wet dream. The Arkham series really nails being Batman, the silent predator watching from the shadows and taking out bands of goons. Arkham Knight is said to improve on the classic gameplay and also adds the Batmobile as a drivable vehicle with combat and pursuit modes. Rocksteady claims that the game is massive, apparently five times larger than the last main game. Throw in hordes of Batman's most deadly adversaries to pad out the story and this could be the ultimate Batman experience. Rainbow Six Siege, officially revealed at E3 2014 by Ubisoft, Rainbow Six Siege took FPS multiplayer fans by surprise. Tight, intense and highly destructible FPS 5v5 gameplay and what we've seen so far showed a SWAT team attempting to enter a house and rescue intelligent AI hostages that can think for themselves and act unpredictably. Before the round started, the terrorists inside have some time to prepare, boarding up windows, placing barbed wire and setting traps. After that, the SWAT team do a little bit of recon, repel into buildings and use breaching charges to enter rooms and blast their way into the floors below. It looked very intense and chaotic, no respawns when you die, round based gameplay and plenty of esports potential. Quantum Break, from the developers of Max Payne and Alan Wake, this game really piques my interest. Remedy love playing around with time and Quantum Break seems like the perfect amalgamation of their previous titles. Here we see the main character manipulating time in extreme conditions and various combat scenarios. However, not everything can be frozen in time. Some enemies can move within your time freezes and some elements of the level are unstable, offering the player time puzzles and tricky manoeuvres. The graphics and sound design are very impressive and interestingly enough it's being tied into a new TV series that's planned to run alongside the game. Halo 5 Guardians. Who wouldn't be hyped for Halo 5? The ongoing FPS franchise continues on next gen on a brand spanking new engine and 343 Industries have already proved that they can make a solid Halo game. I really enjoyed the Halo 4 campaign but the multiplayer strayed too far away from the series to be enjoyable for me. I'd love to see the Halo 5 multiplayer hark back to the Halo 3 style. Scrap the armor abilities and takedowns, let's take it back to what makes Halo so great. The new game apparently runs at a native resolution of 1080p and 60fps, plus dedicated servers for multiplayer, so fingers crossed the gameplay lives up to our expectations. We'll find out more soon when the beta launches at the end of December. The Legend of Zelda Wii U I seem to remember my save game for the Ocarina of Time on Nintendo 64 was around 80 hours in length. I don't think I've spent that much time since playing a single player campaign, but man, those 80 hours were sure enjoyable. And if you're a Nintendo fan, a new Zelda game is a massive news and the hype train begins to accelerate. 
Whilst we haven't seen much of the new Zelda game and don't know many details yet, the short gameplay video we've seen looked incredible, almost like an oil painting in motion. Also, this Zelda game is a little bit different, a massive open world environment designed to give the player more freedom and choice, plus new more challenging puzzles encouraging the player to think differently about completing dungeons. Here is Edge 2, I'm not sure when this game is going to be released and we haven't seen any proper gameplay yet, only an in-engine video, but the original Mirror's Edge was an absolute blast for me. I had a lot of fun playing through the campaign. The combat certainly needed work, but the most enjoyable thing for me was going through all of the time trial challenges, finding new routes and tricks, and just trying to beat your mate's best times. The original game nailed the freedom of movement, and I'm hoping that the sequel, it's actually a prequel apparently, can expand on its design, giving us new movement options and hopefully more satisfying combat. There's also been rumours of a free roam open world multiplayer mode. Anyone for tag? We'll have to wait and see. And that's it guys, thanks for watching. My other notable mentions include No Man's Sky, Bloodborne and The Order 1886. Let me know your most anticipated games down in the comment section below and why you're looking forward to them. Thanks for watching guys, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Check out g2a.com slash r slash jackfrags for cheap games and I'll see you in the next one.